Hi, I'm Linda Hopwood, pastor of Ives Chapel United Methodist Church. We are nearing Thanksgiving, and on the Sunday after that, we'll begin the season of Advent as we reach these key milestones in the year 2020, it's a good time to take stock of where we are and where we've been. When the year started, none of us could have imagined we'd be dealing with a pandemic. It was hard to celebrate Easter by worshiping remotely. I know I never seriously considered the idea that we would have to be virtual for Advent. But here we are. Even a few months ago, I'm not sure we thought we'd still be in the midst of the pandemic. And in fact, actually experiencing a resurgence in coronavirus infections. Many of us have had to change the way that we'll be observing Thanksgiving. Instead of traveling together with family and friends, a number of us will stay home this year and some of us will be alone for the holiday. It's understandable that we are tired frustrated, anxious, and disheartened. The Bible reminds us that even when we think we are, we are not alone. Deuteronomy tells us to be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. No matter how many times we might mess up or fail to live the way God calls us to live, God will not desert or forsake us. God created us and we have no control over this wonderful truth and mystery. And even more amazing is the gift of grace that God extends to us. There is nothing we can do that will ever earn us God's grace. The truth and mystery remain. God made us and loves us so much that God sent us Jesus to show us how we are to live. There is nothing we can do to earn or lose God's love for us. And that's something for which we all should be thankful. Amen.